So which of the following methods can be used to separate salt from seawater? Okay, so remembering that salt is dissolved in seawater, so we're not going to be able to use anything that has to physically separate um, water and some particle. So we can't use filtration or separating funnels because essentially the seawater acts like water. It's just going to flow through any filter or just flow through the separating funnel. It's not going to separate at all. So it won't be these two. These two are quite similar. And you may ask yourself, well, why can't I just pick fractional distillation or evaporation? And the answer is yes, you can pick both. Both will separate water and salt. But fractional distillation is not really to separate a solid dissolved in a liquid. It's mostly to separate two liquids that are dissolved in one another. And it says to separate salt, so we only need to evaporate it. We just can just evaporate the water, and then the water will go away, and we'll have salt left over. So evaporation is the correct answer. Okay? Even though fractional distillation could work, we probably wouldn't use it. Okay? So which of the following methods can be used to separate a mixture of ethanol and water? So these are two liquids that are dissolved in one another. So obviously A and D are off the charts. They're not going to be thought about at all. Now evaporation is probably not going to be useful because we could just end up evaporating the ethanol and the water. So now is the opportunity for fractional distillation to be used. Okay? We heat the water to well, we heat the mixture to the boiling point of the ethanol. The ethanol goes away, uh, evaporates, and then condenses somewhere else, and then we can separate the ethanol and water that way. Okay. Which of the following shows the observed effects on silver salts, as well as an application of the use of this reaction? So in your studies, we looked at a first-hand investigation of the effect of light on silver salts, and we saw lots of different things. Okay. So A, firstly, is not right because you can't go from white to opaque, because white is opaque. Clear would be different to opaque, so it can't be A. So just grammatically, that's wrong. Okay, And again, this one as well, because it goes from white to opaque. Can't, can't do that, because you can't go from white to opaque. So it's got to be these two. Now you have to pick, these are the same, so we have to pick based on the application. Well, we know silver salts are used in photography, and not sunscreens, so it's got to be D. Okay, so the salt goes from white to grey when it's exposed to light, and so we use that in photography because then we can take a photo and it will preserve which parts are dark and which parts are light, and then we can make a photograph out of it. Okay, so that's our answer.